Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in their Fortnite video and in today's video I have an editing video and I'm going to go over some of the best edits that you guys need to have mastered for season 7 and I did a video similar to this I would say I think it was a week ago I did it on building stuff so different builds that you need for season 7 and this video is going to be strictly for editing so I'm going to be going over the 4 or 5 different edits that you guys need to have mastered for season 7 and before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bucks, all you need to do is to drop a like on this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on my notifications, and leave a comment down below of your Xbox Gamer Tag, PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account. And as well, make sure you guys have me supported as a creator on the item shop. All you need to do to do this is go to the item shop, hit X, type in Young Humor. That's all you have to do, and you will have me added and supported as a creator. And alright guys, let's go right to the video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be going over, I would say, the 4 or 5 best edits that you guys need to have in Season 7. And a lot of these edits you guys should be pretty familiar with, but they're definitely edits that I would say you guys need to practice more. Because I started playing a lot more Playgrounds and Creative recently, just so I can get better at building, get better at editing. Because I really think that was a part of my game that I was lacking for a while. So in these game modes, I would say these would be the top edits that you guys need to have mastered to when you're practicing editing or practicing building. These are the type of edits that you guys need to practice. So here's going to be the first edit that you guys need to have down. And this is pretty. This is a pretty simple one. It's been out for a while. And this is a simple cone edit. So you ramp up and then you place a cone and then edit the cone. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already have this mastered down. And the reason why this is super effective and the reason why most of you guys need to have this learned if you don't already is because it helps out with a lot of things. It could be in a build battle when someone's above you. Just placing that cone there is going to protect you from them shooting from above you. And if you want to use a floor, it can be possible, but it is a little bit more difficult. And the reason why you want to place a pyramid instead of a floor on top is because when you're using the pyramid, you can actually place it earlier than you can a floor. Meaning that if you're at the bottom of the ramp, you're going to be able to place the pyramid up top. But if you use a floor at the bottom of your ramp, it's going to place underneath. So using the cone to ramp up is definitely a lot better than using the floor. And it's really helpful in a lot of situations. It could be in build fights and as well if someone's on high ground, it could be on top of a mountain. Using that rushing technique is going to be very, very effective. And once you get it down with just the pyramid, it's really important that you try to learn it with the floor in the pyramid. And a situation like that could be, say you're in a box or whatever, and you have someone shooting to your left or right. So you're boxed up and you want to go up. Or there could be you know guys above you and they're just spraying really heavy and you want to have a little bit extra you know layers of protection then using the floor and the pyramid is going to be your best bet. But like I said, the main reason that I would use it if I'm boxed in, so if I'm in a one by one if I'm underneath, or just trying to protect myself from above, and they happen to jump under me, or they jump to my left or right, and I want to go for a quick edit out, then that is something that is a must-have and a must-have for practice. So here we're going to jump into the second one. This is also a simpler one too, but at the same time you have to get in the right situations. And for this one, it is a simple floor edit, but here is the situation that you'd want to use it in that's going to be most effective. So you say you're in a build fight or maybe you're just ramped against the other player. And this happens so many times if someone's ramping up to you or they're ramping next to you. And say they come up from this angle or they could just come straight on either way So you're above them or maybe you're at the same level as them And what you want to do is place a floor panel above them and then go for a quick edit play And this is something that I use game in and game out trust me It's one of the best edits in this game It's super effective and if they're not ready for it You're gonna get a lot of quick shots off and as well There's a lot of options and a lot of things you can do from that position But if someone's ramping up to you placing that floor and being able to edit that floor quickly is gonna set you up for a huge advantage and a quick shot another way you can practice it as well is you place the floor you edit you shoot then you close the edit immediately and then you edit the other one and then shoot from there so just coming from different angles is going to be very confusing for the other player that you're going against because you're not going to know where you're going to come from and just trying to line up that shot from below is going to be difficult and for most of you guys know the easiest way to counter this is if someone plays a floor of you then they place a pyramid but honestly, if you do it quick enough in a build fight, most players are not going to have any time at all to react to it. And even if they are a good player, if you place the floor panel and then immediately go for the edit play on them, they're going to have absolutely no time at all to place that pyramid and you're going to be inside of their box lighting up with your shotgun, with your SMG or your AR. 
and even if they are going for the cone above, maybe you're in a gunfight or whatever the case may be, and they keep placing the cone every single time, then you can upgrade from a just a floor to a floor and a cone, so that you have no control over any edits at all. So once you go for the edit play, you're going to have total control of that situation. And for the next one that you guys want to do, and it comes with an edit play where you flip the ramp, I did a full video on this about a week and a half ago. It was titled something like number one tid becomes unstoppable. And this really is, I would say, the best edit in this game. It's super easy to do. It's super quick. All you have to do is flip the ramp. And it's very fast, very effective. And where you'd want to use this is say you're in a build fight or if you're ramping up in someone and you put the ramp above them, what you want to do is you want to flip the ramp and once you flip the ramp, anything above you, anything connected is going to break immediately. And once it breaks, it's going to give you a wide open shot on the other player. Most players aren't even going to be expecting it because they're going to be looking up at you because you're going to have high ground and they're all they're going to see is the ramp break and then you take a quick pump shot. So unless they're straight up ready for it, you're going to get them every single time. It's really hard to predict and the only counter really is to place a floor and even if they place the floor there you're still gonna have high ground either way and have a major advantage in that gunfight and you could also if you want just go straight up full send with it and just go for an edit play down on them the only thing about this is once you go for the edit play it could be a, you know it could be honestly quite difficult to line up your shot but i think it's a lot better if you just go for the ramp flip because once you just flip the ramp you're going to be already on high ground your shots already going to be looking down at them and you're going to have a wide open shot on their head and it's just way easier to line up the shot and it's a lot less risky too because even if you miss your shot you can just build up again and then go for the exact same play and even if you go for the play and a gunfight two or three times it's still going to be very hard for the other player to read it so for the third edit you guys need to have mastered and this has to do with a wall edit and for this edit is when you split the wall in half to so edit the three bottom left squares or the three bottom left right squares and once you go for this edit play, there's a few different ways you want to go about this. And the situation that I would say this is the most important is, is say if you're boxed in, you're getting shot from multiple angles and you need to get out of your box quick. And I've had multiple times where I've been in a box, I've gotten shot at, and I've just missed the edit out so many times. So being able to edit walls very quickly and very efficiently is going to save you a ton of gunfights, especially when you're getting sprayed at and there's nothing you can do other than try to relocate. And this is really going to be true if you're getting absolutely spammed by a scar, RPGs, explodes, and you just need to get out of that situation. Being able to edit your walls very quickly is going to save you time after time again. There's a few things that I want to talk about when it comes to editing the wall, and there's going to be two ways to edit this. You can edit it going downwards or you can edit it going upwards. And when you're editing, you always want to edit going upwards because once you're going upwards, as you can see, after I'm done with the edit, my shot is already up and I'm going to be able to take out the other player much easier. And if I were to edit going downwards, you can see as I edit downwards, my shotgun is already going to be towards the ground. And once it's towards the ground, it's going to take even more time to line up my shot because I'm already going to be looking down. And as well, it's just going to be much harder to track your opponent that way. So when you're editing, you always want to edit going upwards. And in my opinion, I think it's much, much quicker. I think it's a lot faster and it overall just feels a lot better to do. So here's going to be the last edit that I'm going to show you guys in this video. And it's a pretty simple one. It's a window edit. And this window edit, I've gotten so many kills with game after game. And this is something that I go for quite a bit off a wall replacement. I'll deagle their wall, place my wall, and then go for an edit play really quickly. I can go for a window shot. I can edit the three squares. But typically, I just go for a window shot because it's so much easier to get that shot off and then close the edit. And the key is when you're practicing with this edit, you want to have a shotgun as well because in game you're going to have a shotgun. Because if you sit there just editing, closing your wall, it's not going to help you out because when in game, when you want to go for a shot, you need to just know how long it's going to take for your shotgun to come out and how quickly you're going to be able to get off that shot. So when you're practicing this edit, you want to edit the window and then immediately shoot your pump shotgun and then close the edit. So you want to practice it like that and you want to practice on doing it as quick as possible because in game you're going to have to do it as fast as you can if you want to be able to pick off your opponent quickly and just overall win more gunfights from that position. And here's just a quick little bonus one and this one is a ramp and a floor edit. And the reason why you want to practice this, say you're in a one by one or maybe you need to drop down in a build fight or there's anything in between you need to try to get off some heals. So practicing this edit is going to save you a ton because if you want to get off some heals, if you want to just try to escape the situation, you need to practice going for these edits because right here I'm, I'm messing them up because I'm still trying to get used to my new editing sensitivity and if you guys haven't seen that video already, make sure you guys check it out. I made a settings video just a few days ago. So if you guys are curious where my settings are, make sure you guys check out that video. It's a really good video and as well I have a 24 kill gameplay in the background for it. 
And if you want, when you're going for this edit, instead of just splitting the ramp in half like right here, instead you can actually just flip the ramp. And once you flip the ramp, it's not going to break it. So if someone tries to follow you, they're going to have to break the ramp every single time that they go down, which is going to make it much harder for them to get to you and just buy yourself more time to get off that heel or just get out of that situation altogether. And with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you guys could drop a like on this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on my notifications to notify for every single new video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.